Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. I'm here today to talk to you guys about how you can vacuum your Intex pool. Whether you have an Intex, a Summer Wave, or even a Coleman pool, we all know that the systems on these pools are very weak and it can be a nightmare to vacuum them. So I'm gonna be showing you several different methods on how we can vacuum without using the filter systems on these pools because they're not strong enough. Okay, so for the first method, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about uh, battery-operated catfish. This is basically considered a dust buster to a vacuum cleaner, if you will. We take our pole and we slide it in, clip it on, you turn your, your unit on, and because it's battery operated, we can actually go around in the pool and we can pick up the, the trash. It will take much longer to clean the pool. I do have some other methods that are gonna be actually better than this, but I just wanted to show you this as an option. Okay, for this method, we're gonna be using a vacuum head. It does have a swivel, it is a brush model. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take our pole that you see here and we're gonna to hook to it. We're gonna clip it on and then we're gonna be able to hook our vacuum hose to it. This is all we need and we're gonna be actually siphoning. And what I'd like to do is take you out to the pool and show you how this works. And it is very effective. So let's go out to the pool. All right, now we're out here at our display pools and I'm gonna show you how the siphoning method actually works. Even though this isn't an Intex pool, the method of how we hook it up is still gonna work and will work with any of the pools by not using the system. First thing we wanna do is we wanna hook up our vacuum hose. On the vacuum hose, there's a stationary end and then there's a swivel end. We wanna hook the swivel end to the vacuum. Then we're gonna put the vacuum into the pool and we're gonna go ahead and throw the hose in the pool with it. The idea is just like when we're vacuuming a pool normally, we want to prime the hose. How do we do that? We want to feed it hand over hand. We are filling the hose with water and getting all the air out. When we get to here, the water comes out that lets us know it's full. Put our hand over the hose, pull this out, set it down. And as you can see here, the water is coming out and it's coming out at a pretty good flow rate, which is an inch and a half on the hose. And now we're able to go over and we're gonna be able to vacuum the pool. So now, as you can see, the water's coming out of the hose at a very good rate. It will vacuum very well. What's very important is we don't wanna leave the vacuum in the pool because it can actually drain the pool. So when you're finished vacuuming, we wanna take the vacuum out of the pool. And when we do so, the siphon is broke and then the water stops. At this point in time, we're done, but using this method, it will lower the water level in the pool, so you will have to add water to the pool. It is also very important when getting a vacuum hose that you get the right length because there's different size vacuum hoses. They normally start at 25 up to 50 foot. Just make sure that when you get your Intex pool and you're vacuuming, that if you do this method, that you get a hose that's long enough so that you'll be able to vacuum the pool. Okay, for the final method, we're gonna be using a leaf vac. This is one of my favorites. I actually sell a lot of these. They actually work very well. And what we do is we take your pole, we hook it on, then you get your garden hose, you hook your garden hose here, screw that on, and then you will take one of the bags and you put it over, it has a drawstring. Now we turn the garden hose on and it's actually using pressure from the garden hose. So when it's hooked up, this is what it looks like and then we are able to move this around in the pool and it will pick up all the debris and once all the debris has been picked up we can take the bag off wash it and clean it the bags are reusable the leaf vacuum does come with two bags it comes with a coarse bag this is basically going to be used as you can see here it's it's a little bit more open it's going to be used here for big debris leaves things like that but it also comes with a very fine mesh bag that is much smaller and this is going to be used for all your fine debris so it's it's going to pick up sand and some of your uh, debris that's much finer uh, that may want to escape or go through the larger bag. By using the leaf vac, and since we're running it with a garden hose, we're going to be adding water to the pool as to where before I showed you the siphoning method was actually taking water out of the pool. So keep that in mind. Uh, out of all the methods that I've shown you, I like the leaf vac. It seems to be the most promising. It seems to be the, the easiest that most people like to use when cleaning their Intex pool. Okay, so that wraps it up. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. And if you're interested in any of the products here, there is links in the description down below. Don't forget Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. We do have a lot of future content planned that you guys aren't gonna wanna miss out on. My name is Mark. As always, I do appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next video.